Hello folks, welcome back to Embedded World here in Nuremberg, day two. We're really excited, we're going to be bringing you even more exciting and interesting technology today. And I am very happy to be starting us off with Jim McElroy of LDRA. Jim, tell us about what you guys are working on and showing off this year. Okay, well actually for the people who don't know about us, we deal primarily with uh, customers who need to produce safety critical and security critical applications. Yeah. So from a developer's perspective, they need to ensure that in today's world with the growing complexity of software <laughs> and the size of software applications, uh, and actually the scope of development going across the globe, they need to be able to handle and manage uh, software application development and verification activities, and more importantly, the artifacts, should they need to certify those applications. Yeah. And that's really what LDRA Vault is. That's one of the releases that we're talking about yep. today. LDRA Vault um, provides a comprehensive solution, a web-based application to allow program managers, developers, verification engineers to peer into the verification activities and artifacts and manage those artifacts All right. throughout the development lifecycle. What's, what's really cool about this, frankly, is being able to dive into the very minute details of even a, a source file or at a higher level of abstraction, a particular component within the application and understand what potential vulnerabilities or defects exist. Well, right, you've got to find those back doors before somebody else does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the key things about Vault is it enables even disparate teams to communicate and, and peer into the verification activities and artifacts. So it's all about artifact management yeah. for those customers who have to go through certification. Awesome, and uh, you said there were a couple other announcements too. So right. What's the next one? So the second item I would talk about is uh, the LDRA productivity packages. What we've done here is we've uh, kind of cleverly packaged components of the LDRA tool suite to address the very specific needs of individual industry markets like aerospace and defense, automotive, oh, okay. industrial controls. So they're getting all the components that they need to comply with those particular standards and demonstrate their compliance through well, right. report generation. Well, because of course each sort of vertical has their own compliance requirements and yeah. so this sort of streamlines that process. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Fundamentally, they need to comply with standards, whether that be functional safety or security. And what we do with the productivity packages is give them everything that they need from requirements traceability to static analysis, dynamic analysis, unit testing, uh, documentation generation, report generation, and a compliance report for any particular standard in the industry that they're targeting. Right, and most of them have to generate those reports pretty regularly, right? Absolutely, and if they were to do this manually, it takes them a lot of time and effort yeah. and money, frankly. Yeah. Well, all right, so you're saving the money and time is what you're telling me? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's really what the productivity packages are all about. It's a flexible bundling of the components of our tool suite yeah. to give them high levels of productivity for each of those markets. That's awesome. And uh, the last one is your security analysis, right? Yeah, more and more needs, of course, in the industry are coming down to security. Yeah. And what we've been able to do within the tool suite is focus our energy on analyzing software code for security vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Okay. All right, so we have a number of capabilities built into the tool suite that carry into the productivity packages, as well as produced in reports at the vault level, right? Uh, enabling our customers to understand the security potential vulnerab vulnerabilities in their code and the weaknesses in their code. And yeah. we give them reports to analyze that, including all the way down to what we call taint analysis, okay. which is examining how data is um, coming into the system and being uh, flowing through the system from an execution perspective. Right. Looking for uh, faults or anomalies, that kind of thing? Or? Potentially uh, faults or anomalies, but more likely on the taint side of things, we're looking at you know where did that data come from? Could it have been manipulated in some particular way prior to entering this system. And then those are the types of things that we want to keep our eye on from a security vulnerability perspective. That's awesome. Jim, thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today. Folks, thank you. I've been Ken Briota with Embedded Computing Design. We are here at Embedded World here in Nuremberg, Germany all this week. So don't go away, we've got a lot more coming.